<laughs> oh man, I just like ringed my own ears. <laughs> Hi, it's Sydney Sweeney and I'm here with LUK to play Ask Me Anything. Oh my gosh. If I had to choose between Pete or Coulson wishing on Kelly to give me a tattoo, I feel like I would get a funnier tattoo from Pete, but I trust Coulson more with a tattoo. And I think that he would he would do something that I'd want. So I would probably do like a little face of like a tank's paw print or something. I feel like I could trust him if I if I couldn't choose that he would choose something that was good for me. I do not have any tattoos. I have the biggest phobia of needles. I don't know if anyone would ever be able to give me a tattoo. There's actually quite a funny story behind Tank. I really wanted a dog. I grew up with German Shepherds my entire life and ours passed away when I was about 13 and a half and we went a few years without a dog and I just felt like we weren't, we weren't a complete family without a dog and I really wanted one. So I was visiting my great grandmother who loves to rescue dogs and support shelters and we were at one and we were there to play and feed the dogs and give toys and there was this little tiny baby and she was adorable so I took her I was like I'm gonna save this little thing and I drove home and I put her on my bed and I went into my mom and dad's room I was like guys I was I think I was like 16 and a half 17 years old it's like don't kill me I need to tell you guys something can you come to my room my mom was furious with me. My dad was like, oh, she's so cute. And my mom's like, this is your responsibility. We're not helping you. You have to learn how to take care of your own actions. And I named her Tank because I wanted her to grow into a tank. <laughs> I wanted her to be a big, huge dog. And I ended up just taking Tank to school with me because she was so small, I couldn't leave her. And I would just like, bring her to school with me and hope no one noticed. And then I got, I got caught, but that she was so cute and she kind of became like the school mascot. You guys are going to laugh at me. Okay, so I was at an event. It was the evening before the Emmys, I believe. And I have never fangirled harder than my life. Like, I was meeting Steven Spielberg, Ron Howard, like all these amazing, amazing filmmakers and prestige actors. And then I saw the Property Brothers. The Property Brothers, they are twins who have a couple of shows actually on HGTV where they remodel houses and they do multiple things in the housing space and decorating space and I'm just obsessed with that type of stuff and I lost my cool. I was so nervous and I was literally chickening out and finally I gained the courage and I went up and I said hi I'm such huge fans and they were like what? <laughs> And their lives were like fans of Handmaid's Tale and so then we all talked and we hung out and we follow each other on Instagram now and I'm, I'm really happy so <laughs> that was my fangirl moment. If I was having a dinner party and I could invite anybody dead or alive, I'd of course have to have Jennifer Coolidge because I love her. She will make any party, meta, anything, wherever you are so much fun. And I'd love to invite Robin Williams because I always dreamed of working with him. And maybe Tom Hanks, cause Tom Hanks is Tom Hanks, so. <laughs> if I could bring anyone into the ring with me, I mean, I think there's like the obvious fun ones that you could bring in, but there's a part of me that would love to bring in any of like my lower school, middle school, or high school bullies and just, have a really good session. <laughs> Just let it out. You got something to say? Let's like, let's say it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I think one of my most favorite and cherished items from my clothing, my wardrobe, my closet, I have a collection of sweatshirts that every year since I was a baby, my cousins, I'm a big huge family, we have this tradition where every Christmas we get matching sweatshirts and we get together Christmas Eve, we open them, we put them on, and then we all like tower on top of each other as a pyramid. And as the years gone by, like we've had boyfriends and girlfriends and spouses and kids, and so like the tower keeps getting bigger and bigger and we have more and more sweatshirts. So I have like a, an entire closet that's just stacked with sweatshirts and they're all from my Christmas Eve with my family. And I think those are, those mean the most to me. I think one of the most difficult parts about being in the public eye is that no one truly knows who you are, but they all assume that they think they know you. And 
there's a lot of misconceptions or just ideas that people have ran with and you can't really, it's hard to shut them down, so. If I could steal any other castmates' wardrobes on Euphoria, I think I would have to pick Z's character because she's always just wearing super comfy clothes and I'm a little jealous of that sometimes. But I will say, I do love Cassie's wardrobe because she's always wearing pale blues and pinks, which are my favorite colors. I am always stealing all of Cassie's jeans because they are, when I say they tailor them perfectly to fit me, I mean, you can't go buy those. So I I definitely, there's, there's a few that I'll, I'll just like put in my bag. <laughs> Hunter, ooh. You always wanna give her a hug, so maybe like a koala bear? <laughs> Jacob, ooh. Give him like a wolf or a lion. I feel like he'd like that. Maude would definitely like to have a cat. <laughs> I relate to Cassie in many aspects. One, as a teenage girl, went through a lot of things that Cassie went through. And I think there's a lot of other things that are safe for another conversation one day. One of the things that I remember clearly playing Cassie and then just going through a lot of my high school memories was I looked for validation and love from a lot of other people other than myself. And Cassie does that too. My biggest regret, a few regrets, but one regret is that I ever listened to people who made me doubt myself and to make me feel like I wasn't worth enough or I wasn't talented enough and I ever actually listened and let them into my lives. My proudest moment was being able to bring my grandma to Paris who hasn't really traveled far or much and have her sit front row at the Balmain fashion show when she got all ready and all done up and just being able to have those pictures and that memory for the rest of my life is really special to me. If I could see myself in 10 years, there's a lot of different versions I could see, but one that I for sure would love to see happen is I create an empire and I am rocking as a producer and I'm acting in great amazing projects and hopefully I have a, a stable life and family and I can balance it all. Thank you for watching me play Ask Me Anything. I'm Sydney Sweeney and I hope you enjoy season two of Euphoria.